right, you guys, it's uh, Saturday morning, the 9th, I believe. We just picked up some argon from the welding place. We come over here and see this guy, Abraham, hooks us up. So we got a fresh bottle. I'm gonna go home and start working on the front little extension things that I had uh, talked about in the last video. And um, then we'll just move on to the next, whatever the next project is. Uh, getting ready to go to Disneyland for the daughter's birthday. So gonna be out of commission for a few days going to do that, but uh, should be able to get some more content done when we get back and then have a video up. So let's go do it. Well, as you can see, we went to Disneyland and I didn't get any work done on the Falcon prior to leaving. It was all yard work and uh, stuff like that prior to leaving. So uh, not a lot of content except for I'm going to see what I can get done today. Obviously, you heard me say that I was going to get these front extensions done, which I'm going to do. I'm going to start working on those now. Uh, but I got everything for the rear end. Uh, from team z so i'm going to show you that stuff real quick so this is the lower brace for the rear end this goes underneath it and over to the axle tubes. Uh, that's the part number if anybody's interested and then i also got uh, these are like i guess you would call it the front brace forward brace <clears throat> and uh these go to the rear end obviously where the factory holes are there's some holes in the rear end where the like anti-vibration weight thing used to bolt in the stand for the snubber. So I believe that goes here. And then those things go out and weld to there. So I talked to Kelly already and he said to bring the rear end or we'll try to get it to him next week. So that's fine. We've got plenty of work to do still. Uh, we'll get going on these front boxes. And then I think I'm going to weld the, the piece to the inner frame rail that I, all the stuff that I cut out, I'm gonna cut out you know, like a 14 gauge piece and get that welded back in there so that the tire can't get cut on anything or anything like that. And then um, I'll probably do it for this video and then maybe the next video, obviously we'll take the rear end out to Kelly and then we'll look at um, maybe getting the wheelhouses back in. And uh, then we need to get a seat ordered and some pedals. Been really li liking that race tech seat like the $1,300 one. I like the other one too, but it's expensive. Uh, only concern with a big seat like that, a big containment seat, is I think that's, those things might be too wide just because this dang car is so small. So something I need to look at and take some measurements and see if that's something that I can 
use because the the guy doing the cage needs the seat and pedals before he can do anything so as you can see there's just not a lot of room in this little car also my boy jason came over and got this door to where it shuts and opens um i still need to figure out the handle this door came with the handle but um it's, it's missing some of the inner stuff and i've got other doors to take apart but he got this all straight i mean this thing was so far off it was hitting here uh, i may have to dremel this out and like weld a new piece in and that's about the only way i'm gonna be able to fix that but now the door shuts shuts nicely um we found the inner panel this this inner panel you know the door's two pieces we found this inner panel was kind of loose from this outer panel so we peeled some of this back and then he re um, hammered it all the way down uh, it's probably could be pushed a little that way and throw a couple tack welds in here so it doesn't move in the future probably from the whoever that's being adjusted wrong and yanking the door shut caused that to get real weak uh, I didn't film any of that either. He came over on Sunday before we left to uh, Disneyland, Disney Weird, if you want to call it that. And uh, and we knocked that out. So um, let's get going on these front pieces and get that done. I thought about taking the brackets that I had already had and cut them, take the chunk, you know, take a quarter inch out of them, weld the sucker back together and weld them back in. But we'll see. We'll, we'll get it up and figure out what we're going to do. I also put a... Another half inch spacer, excuse me, another half inch spacer to lower the car down a little more. And I, I like I like the way it sits now. It's sitting a little more level. Sitting a little more level now than um, it did. It was kind of sitting up like a stink bug. But I'm really liking that extra half inch in there. And I'm sure it's going to drop even more once we get more stuff in it. So... If I have to, I can take one of the little half-inch blocks out that I went and got from Calvert. So, uh, let's get going on this front-end stuff. got what I think I'm gonna end up doing here I got the uh, magnets holding it so I'll show you what we got so here's what I got now I need to make like a, a pattern here that I can catch this and catch the frame and I'll probably only go to here and then I'll trim that down a little bit so I can weld it like that and then weld here weld here and then I'll probably uh, dimple die here and a couple dimple dies there just to make it light and strong all right that's the pattern so I'll make four of those uh, I'll, pro I'll dimple die here and then like there and there so I'll probably get the these cut out uh, then we'll figure out where we're gonna put the dimple die and then we'll get all that done and then we'll start welding these together <laughs>
we got this laid out. We're going to uh, mark where we want the holes to be and then get it on the drill press. Let's see my little tack welds. I'm gonna go with a big one, medium one, small one. So let's get it over there and do it. Now we can dimple dye. Clean it up first. Right, that's what we got. All right, I got all these clean and marked. Which side is the outside? So we'll get these on here and get them cranking. It's a little later, had to go to the, the girls' school for uh, some spring thing, but I've got all the holes drilled and dimple dyed in these things. Let me show you what we got. So here's what we got. Obviously, it's going to go in the car like that, and then I'll have to weld these. These things got a little jacked up putting the dimple dyes in them, so I had to straighten them out the best that I could. But we're gonna go over to the welding table now and start tacking these things and then uh once i get them tacked i'll put them up in the car make sure that they're gonna fit the way i want them to fit and then we'll go ahead and weld them all the way out and then i'll get them in the car and then i'll edit this video and put it up and that'll probably be it this will be a short video but uh dang the dang disneyland got me but i'll put you on a time lapse and we'll get cranking Right, we got those tacked up it took me a minute to get them straightened out from the dimple dying but i'll show you the setup now so that's that's it sitting in there it gives me more room up here to weld and then we'll weld all this but we're gonna go ahead and weld these out and then we'll get them back up here and get them welded in sorry for all the time lapses but uh 
kind of boring just to watch somebody TIG weld. So I'm gonna put you on a time lapse and burn these things in. Not my best welds, but uh, it'll definitely do. I may let this cool a little bit and weld. See if I can flip this over without burning myself. Uh, I may come around the corners, uh, like in the backs and in the front. Just come around the corner just a little bit. I'm gonna let those cool down for a second and then maybe burn in those front corners and then we'll push them up in the car. <laughs> All right, I let these things cool and then burned in those corners just to make sure that they're strong. Uh, now we'll put this thing up in there and start welding on the car. But I got these front pieces done and welded in. A lot of dancing around uh, to get them in with the dang TIG torch. But they're in. I, I think they're going to be plenty strong. I struggled a little bit uh, on the top. I just can't get my dang head high enough and make sure. But I got it. It's really hot right now. But got both of these. Both of these in, no problems. So, sorry this is a short video, you guys, and sorry there's been a lot of time lapses and, and music, but like I say, the old uh, Disneyland took a lot of my time away to be able to work on the car. Um, but, you know, more to come. Long, long series, long, you know, hopefully you guys stay with me. Just, I wish I could, uh, just move it along real quick, you know, but like I say, I'm, I'm new at this and I'm new at TIGging and just trying to knock this thing out as fast as I can with my abilities so that I can get it to the chassis guy. But uh, thank you for watching and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.